Hello! We are going to do some writing about our insects today. Today we are going to do writing about this insect. Do, 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 do. do you see what insect that is? That's right, it's a dragonfly. My turn, your turn. Dragonflies are insects. Good job. Now, today, when we do um, our, our writing about dragonflies, um, we first already made our picture with Mr. Bresca today. Mr. Bresca showed us how to make a picture of a dragonfly and do all the details. So today, we're going to use this um, paper to do our writing. So when I say go, what I want you to do is go get this paper, your dragonfly um, page in your journal. Go get your journal. That's number one. I need you to get your journal. Number two, I need you to get a pencil and an eraser. Go. Okay. Are you back? Awesome. So you have your, pip, your, your journal and your pencil and your eraser. Set that down and ready position and look at me. Awesome. Okay. Now here I have my picture of an insect. I want to, before we do our writing, I want to go over all of the parts of the insect. Okay. So, um, and we can even sing our song. Let's start with the head and you can touch the screen with me. Um, touch my finger too. Here we go. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Compound eyes, antennas, spiracles. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And that song always leaves out the six legs. All insects have six legs too. My turn, your turn. Let's say all the body parts. Head, thorax, abdomen, compound eyes, antennas, spiracles, six legs. Very good. Okay, now you have your dragonfly. Here on our dragonfly, we made the head, we made the thorax, we made the abdomen, we made the compound eyes, we made their short little antennas, we made their spiracles, and dragonflies are an insect that have wings. Yeah, they have four wings. So, I want to do writing with you. So what I need to do is first, I'm gonna move my camera around and I want you to get in ready position like this with your journal in front of you and your pencil and your eraser in case we make a mistake, okay? And then I've gotta move my camera. Did it like that is usually how it works. And then I gotta check it. Oh yeah, okay, cool. And you can see it, perfect. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is we are going to write our sentence all together. Um, I'm gonna do my, my part first and then you're gonna do your part. So I'm gonna have you pause the video throughout and write with me. So the first sentence we're gonna say is what insect this is. My turn, your turn. This is a dragonfly. Your turn. Very good. And remember, I have my check our writing poster right here. So we can use this um, as we do our writing. Number one, what do we have to start with? What do good writers start with? That's right, a capital. Number two, what do we have to put between our words? Yes, two finger spaces. Number three, what do we have to put at the end of our sentence? A period, very good. And number four, we have to make sure our magic words are spelled just right. So we will do that as we are doing our writing. 
Here is our sentence. My turn, your turn. Let's say it one more time. This is a dragonfly. Your turn. Okay, now watch me. It's gonna be my turn first. I'm gonna start all the way over here and I have to make this. That's our first sentence, this. Um, I want you to actually push pause if you don't have it with your journal and I want you to go get your magic words. Push pause and go get this if you don't have it. Okay, so now you're back and you have your magic words. You're not going to do your writing just yet. You're in ready position, waiting. And I want you to find magic word this for me. Put your finger underneath magic word this and spell it for me. Ready? Go. T H I S. That says this. <gasps> Wait, what? Are you showing me teacher mistake? You are? Yes. Look, I didn't put it a capital at the beginning. Oh boy. I didn't put a capital. Let's make it capital T. Capital T H I S. Okay, I want you to push pause on the video and you write magic word this, just like this. Make sure you do perfect letters. Go. All right, are you ready? Now, take our two finger spaces. Put your two fingers right next to magic word this on your paper. And our next word is is. This is. Watch me first. I'm going to make my eye. My eye starts on the belt line. It goes down. Then I do a little dot. One, two, three. My S. Belt line around a foot line. That's magic word is. Write magic word is, go. Awesome. Okay, two finger spaces. Now, if you need to pause, just push pause and catch up, okay? No worries. This is A. Hey, we all know A. A, watch me. <gasps> what? Yes, teacher mistake, because look, I made capital A. Oh no, oh no. I need lowercase a. That's right, lowercase a. Around, up, straight down. And remember, don't go higher than the belt line. You make magic word A, go. Very good. Okay, now let's go back and read it. The, you touch under, get your finger underneath your this. Let's read, go. This is a, now we have to write dragonfly. Hey, but guess what? Dragonfly is a really long word. It's not going to fit right there for me. So I'm going to come down to the next line and go over. And here I go. I'm going to write dragonfly. And I'm going to show you how we write dragonfly in a book. Okay? So you're going to spell it just like this. And you can spell it with me. Or you can um, push pause when I'm all done. Your choice. Here I go. I'm going to make D. Remember D. Can't go higher than the belt line there. R. A. G. Hangs down. We're going to practice G later, but that's what a G looks like. O, N, F, L, Y, dragonfly. That's how you write dragonfly. Now, touch underneath this. If you're still writing dragonfly so beautiful, then push pause. Okay, put your finger underneath this. Let's read. Go. This is a dragonfly. Now, what needs to go at the end of my sentence? That's right, a period. And remember, your period should be small and right on that belt, on that foot line. Good job. All right, this is a dragonfly. Now, 
That is sentence number one. Let's check it. Now, I'm not gonna underline it and I'm not gonna do the stars right now. So we're just gonna look at ours and make sure that we did it all just right. Number one, did we start with a capital? Touch it. Yes, we did. Number two, did we do two finger spaces? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And we and I didn't think dragonfly was gonna fit. Oh, look, it would have come off my paper. So yeah, we had to come to the next line. So we did our two finger spaces. Number three, did we do a period? We sure did. And number four, did we spell our magic words just right? Let's see. What magic word is this? That's right, is I-S. Let's look at, look at your word wall. Did we spell is just right? Oh yeah, there it is, is. We spelled it just right. What magic word is this? That's right, this. Did we spell this just right? Let's find it on our word wall. We did, we spelled this just right, T-H-I-S, T-H-I-S. Yay, good job, we did sentence number one. High five, awesome. Now, we need to do sentence number two. So sentence number two, we're gonna say what dragonflies have. Now, if we look at my picture here of this real dragonfly, we know that a dragonfly has a head, a thorax, and a long skinny abdomen. It also, they also have four wings. They also um, have two compound eyes. Um, they have two antennas. They have a lot of different, they have all those body parts. So my sentence, I'm gonna say, dragonflies have two compound eyes. That's what I'm gonna say, but you get to pick whatever you want. So we're gonna start our sentence together and then you're gonna get to do um, whatever part of the dragonfly you wanna say. So here I go. Now, this is sentence number two. So we need two finger spaces after our period. Remember, when we write a new sentence, we don't come down to the next line. We keep going. If that word will fit, we write it on that, on that line. And if I do two finger spaces after my period, I can keep writing dragonflies right here. So watch me, because I'm gonna show you how to write dragonflies just the way we see it in a book. Now, it's the beginning of our sentence, so we have to start with a capital. That's right. So. Capital D, and you make your capital D, goes all the way up to the headline and around. R, A, belt line to foot line and straight down. G goes around up and it hangs down. O, N, staying between that belt line and foot line. Now F is tall, tall F. L is tall. I starts on the belt line, down and a little dot. E, oh, we did ease before we went on break, remember? Starts in the middle and it goes out and then around and an S at the end. Ooh, it just fit. Dragonflies, I wrote it. Dragonflies. Now, I'm gonna, now I have to come down here to the next line. Dragonflies, what's the next word in my sentence? That's right, have. Now have is a magic word. It's right here, H-A-V-E. So let's write have. Ha, uh, H goes tall and remember, Goes all the way over H, A, V, E, have. And I'm looking at my, at my line and I'm kind of running out of room. So you know what? I'm gonna change my sentence from dragonflies have two compound eyes. I don't think I'm gonna have enough space to write all that. So I'm gonna say dragonflies have six legs. That's what I'm gonna write. And I have my poster here that shows me just how to write six legs. 
So I'm gonna set that right there and I'm gonna do two finger spaces. Now, what I want you to do is watch me. Just watch me do this part. I'm gonna make my six go tall. Two finger spaces after six. Now I have to write legs. L, E, G, S, legs. Now, I wrote my sentence number two. Dragonflies have six legs. What has to go at the end? That's right, a period goes at the end. Okay, now it's your turn to finish your sentence about dragonflies. Dragonflies have, put your two finger spaces on after have and look at all the parts of the insect. Do you want to say dragonflies have a head? Have a head? You can write dragonflies have have a head. Do you want to write dragonflies have two antenna? You can write that. Dragonflies have. I don't know if you'll have enough space, but maybe you do on your paper. Two compound eyes. You can write that. Dragonflies have spiracles. You can write that. Dragonflies have an abdomen. You can write that. You can write mine. Dragonflies have six legs, just like me. Or you can write dragonflies have a thorax. And that word says thorax. So I want you to look at my poster here and pick what do you want to write. Push pause and finish your sentence. Go. Okay, did you finish it? Awesome. All right, I'm gonna move my camera around. There I am, hello. Now, you finished your sentence too? Okay, I'm gonna ask you, did you put a period at the end? Yeah, you didn't forget, good job. And now, let's look at our sentence number two. I'm gonna read mine, then you read yours. Dragonflies have six legs. You read what you wrote. Good job. Now let's check. Number one. Did we start with a capital? I want you to look at yours. Put your finger on capital D. Ding, we did that. Number two. Did we do two finger spaces? Let's check. Oh, this was the end. So yeah, we did space there. We did space there. We did space there. Good. Number three. Did you put your period? I put my period. Did you put your period? Good. And number four are magic words. The only magic word I have is have, H-A-V-E, and I spelled it just right. Dragonfly writing, I'm gonna read mine. Touch and read mine with me, go. This is a dragonfly, ding. Dragonflies have six legs, ding. And look at the letters I made. I did them so beautiful. Did you make yours the best you can too? Yeah? Good job. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to go take your writing and go read it to, go read it two times. You can read it to two different people in your family or you can read it to, if there's only one person at your house right now, you can read it to that, that um, family member two times. Read them your writing and show them about dragonflies. Um, and if you remember some facts about dragonflies, like what they eat, here's my my uh, little butterfly, it's getting ready to eat. Um, if you remember what dragonflies eat or um, what's what they can do, tell your family something you learned today about dragonflies too. Thank you for doing beautiful writing with me today. And before, um, you put this away, make sure your family takes a picture and sends it to us so I can see that you did your work. And go into the Google Classroom and click that button that says, mark as done. That means you did it and you turned it into the teacher. Good job. Bye, guys.